what's up, little bro? Long time no see. How you doing, man? I'm good. Good to see you. Me too, man. What are you doing these days? You know, just uh, been living life as far as I can go. How's the uh, green street? It's all right. Just do a lot of shit. Yeah. Doing a lot of things. How's the uh, how's the baby girl? Uh, she's doing good. Good. Doing well. Happy to see her. Well. You know, I called you for a reason. We can't really do a small talk all day. Um, I don't really know how to put this, but uh, Dad has cancer. So, I mean, I've been taking care of him. I've been trying my hardest by myself. It's hard when, you know, Mom's not here anymore. And I mean, it's kind of hard for the, for the bastard. I mean, that. he did do all that to you. I mean... But he is our dad. He's the only family we have left, you know? Yeah, true. We gotta just... I need you to be there more and often to take care of him. He's just... He's dying, man. I mean, it's gonna be really hard for me, man. I know it's... He used to be living shit out of me. I'm like... I know, like, I was there and... I don't know, like, the stuff he used to do to Megan and stuff. Can't deal with that. Because Megan's not a little girl. Like, that's what I'm saying, cool. I know, but... It's just... Even through all that, you know, he's he's our dad, you know, we have to he's the only person we have left in our lives that's our family. I mean I know you got your own family and everything, but I don't. And he's he's the only person left, even though, you know even though he, you know, did everything like that to us, it's just there's he's the only person there. And I understand. So I love you for like I'll help you out. I need you to be there more. Yeah, I got you. Hello, bro. Can't you do anything like that? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's been so tough, you know. He's. <sighs> what stage is he in? Is he far along? He's, he's just got, you know. He's been there for about six months, he's had it. And, uh,. I feel like every single day, it's just getting worse and worse. You know, he started losing his hair, so that's gone now. Going through the chemo, and it's just, I feel like every day, one of these days, you know, you could just, I could just wake up with a call and, you know, he's not there anymore. And that day is, I just don't want him to come out. Should have told me earlier, man. I know, we've been there. gone. Yeah, but you know. still, I found some way, maybe. Oh, I just, all I'm asking is just, we gotta take care of them together, you know? Yeah, we can practice as a team. Yeah. Good. Oh. Right. Yeah, this is the first class, and so, uh, given the benefit of, of all the, the knowledge that you have, having taken the course so far, what, um, what did you see? What worked? What would you uh, recommend that they work on? I saw that there was a goal in the scene. Uh, he started off saying, uh, well, the goal was to have uh, Matt come in and help out with the father who's got cancer. So they worked towards that goal and did a good job at it. There's a nice complication with you know the fact that he had been a violent father and a molester. It wasn't clear if that was a sister or your daughter. If it was your daughter, then I think you gave in way too easy no, it was, it was I, our sister. Okay, like, oh, well, yeah, I'll, I'll come and I'll bring my daughter with, you know? <laughs> um, so, um, so I, so I thought that you, you went through the problem a little bit too easily, you know? Because uh, that was the point where you had some possibility to explore the relationship you have together through this complicated thing of, of yeah, I, if you've been helping Dad and haven't gotten any help, do you resent that? You know, that would have been interesting to develop. And then, but you have a reason for not helping. And then, then, you know, what can you do with those possibilities? Like, do you believe everything he says about being beaten or about Megan? Or are you in some state of denial? Yeah, I said, like, during I said, well, you know, I've, I've witnessed that, I've seen everything. But and then, then it's kind of like, okay, well, boom, it's over. And, um, and you know, to some extent, then, you know, that's emotionally real. That's what we're highlighting on today. Um, but you know, to, to look for those possibilities, like where can we take the scene that raises the stakes a little bit and, and makes the experience, you know, more.
demanding of our attention. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, like what would have made the situation matter to an audience as well as to you? Um, and exploring the complications is, is one way to get at that. Uh, but you, you paid attention to each other pretty well. Um, it, it's a good, you know, first scene. So uh, thanks for getting up there. <coughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh,